Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating inside of Canva. But the thing is, what makes this tutorial special is because I made something um, in Canva and shared it on my Instagram account. And before I even say anything about it, I just want you to have a look at it. Alright, so you can see, even though it was the same image, but I was able to make it into a video and add some interesting music in the background and a lot of people in the comment section were saying if I could make a tutorial out of this. So I was like, okay, that's a cool thing to do. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to share with you the exact steps I took to create that. So if this is something you are interested in, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so I just want to say that if you are new to Canva or if you by chance you haven't signed up for a Canva account yet, I have a special link in the description box below that can help you get Canva Pro for a very cool price. Yes, a very cool price. So you can check it in the description box and you know get it. So let's dive straight into Canva. Alright, so here we are in Canva. The first thing I'm going to do is to click on create a design and I come to custom size. Then I can choose 1080 by 1350. And the thing is, if you're seeing this over here, it's because I've been using this a lot of time. So you can simply type 1080 and 1350 over here. Okay, so I just have to click, but I have it opened already. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add the background. And you can see I tried to remember what I use in the tutorial or in the photo I showed you earlier so you just search for black material background okay so once you do that you should get a lot of options you understand so so many cool options we have over here and in this case you can choose any of them at all okay so um, I'm not going to use the exact thing I used in the previous one so I'll use a different one okay so let me choose this one okay then i right click and set the image as background okay so this is what we have at the moment okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to be adding our shapes yes our shapes <laughs> our text and all of the interesting things you saw earlier okay so let's go back into canva and i'll just take you through every single thing Okay, so you can see we have this over here and because I wanted to fade it out a little bit, what we can do is, there are two things you can do. You can right click and detach first, change the image or your background, sorry, change the background color to black, okay? A South African you say black or something like that. Then replace the background with your image, click on it and you can reduce the transparency of it, okay? Or what you can simply do is you can... Place the image there, still with the white background, and add a shape on it, and make the shape black, then you reduce the transparency of the shape. I hope that was easy, even though I didn't demonstrate that, okay? Yeah, but I believe with the first example I gave is easier, okay? So after you do that, what you're going to do is to add some text. So you can simply press T on your keyboard for text, okay? Then you have this text over here. Then I can say Black Friday, okay? So Black Friday. And I know my Zimbabwean friends and uh, South African friends, that's how you normally pronounce your stuff. Okay, then we come here and we choose League Spartan. Okay, so even if you type League, you should get this font. And um, the thing is, you shouldn't be afraid to search for League Spartan, it's a free font and you don't have to pay anything for it. Okay, so back into Canva, we are going to increase the size of this. Okay. Then we move it over here, we center it, choose the alignment, okay, center, maybe let me select all my text, and I choose the centered, yeah, it's still not, okay, okay, yeah, so that's what we have, it still looks like, um, okay, I think I know why, nice one, I fixed it easily, <laughs> okay, so I trim my, how do you call it my text then i come to spacing and i reduce the line spacing okay so now that i have this i'll drop this down a little bit then the next thing i am going to do is to 
add a balloon so i come back into element and i search for balloon b a double l o o n okay so i search for balloon and you can see there's so many options we have over here so you can simply um search by what you can do you can also come to the filter and choose cut out only apply filter so you can see we also have all balloons without um how do you call it a uh, background okay so you can use any color at all you want in the first one you saw i used the purple balloon but let's say in this one i want to use a yellow balloon so i can choose the yellow balloon okay right click and bring it to the front and move it to the top a little bit okay so somewhere here then i can select you know my black friday and move it down a little bit but you can see it's looking a bit transparent over here and even though naturally i wouldn't go for that but i think it's still something cool because balloons are normally you know kind of like transparent okay so we'll just leave it this way now the next thing we're going to do is to press no we are not going to press anything close this up okay then we will go into elements and in elements we are going to be searching for um line and shapes okay so in this section you just have to click on c or when you click on c or just scroll down and you'd find this outline shape okay then we reduce the size of it okay then reduce the size more bring it down over here okay then what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate this text move it down select all the text and just say seal okay as simple as that then we can reduce you know um the size of our but we had to trim it first before doing that so that's what i wanted to see and i just didn't know the word to use okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment i select it come to colors then i can use a, you know the yellow color for my text and i will still want to use the same yellow color for the shape so i use the same yellow color okay so everything should be on brand okay so i select this right click okay it's already at the back so select the outline shape okay press shift and select the um the text then you can use ctrl g to group the two of them move it to the top and you can rotate it slightly like this okay yeah so i just hope what we have been able to do so far is easy ever it's not easy for you please you know just rewind the video just take it back a little bit and i'm sure you wouldn't be confused anymore all right so back into what we were doing now we are going to add some text okay so we can simply um just say limited text so i just add some text and i change this one to my favorite or one of my favorite which is montserrat okay so you can just type mont okay then it should pull up um all of the other text that has mont in it so montserrat is one of them i choose the montserrat classic and um, we can just pull it down here select all and we can just say limited time okay okay so in this case i would reduce it and move it to the top a little bit and i will come to the spacing and increase the letter spacing a little bit then i come to colors and change the color to what we've been using so far so you can see how this is looking but i can send this to the back okay then what i can do is i can select my text duplicate it position it here and i'll make it smaller a little bit duplicate it and say 50 percent off okay so off of sale because we are trying to um be like you know we are trying to be marketers so that's the thing so we make this one a little bit bigger and we center it okay maybe let me just even move it to the top also okay so we have something like this at the moment then i can duplicate um this particular text again drop it down and actually i'll make this one rather smaller okay then we can double click okay double click select or and say for more information okay so information contact us okay 
but you can choose not to say it. Contact us on maybe zero 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 two two two. Let me leave some space in zero zero two two four eight one. Okay, so I'll just do this and I'll reduce the size more. Then I selected come to the triple dot over here, position center. Okay, yeah. So this is what I have at the moment. Okay, so this is what I have, and I can add a simple hashtag, you know, just at the bottom to make it modern and fancy. So I can just select on say hashtag my super friday okay so something like that then i select it and also make it yellow okay so this is what we have done at the moment so you can see what we did hasn't been anything fancy so we are now going to be adding the confetti as an american will say or the confetti if you are an african so let's go back and do that quickly okay so now we still in element you just have to clear line and shift and type confetti okay so once you type this come into graphics okay and you'd find so many interesting ones in there okay so this is the one i use you can just make it bigger and have it you know on top then we can i think i use another one which is you know just scroll down and you'd find you know some interesting ones so it can be this one i don't know if i'm sure but i think so no this one is looking too big so we just scroll you know just take your time and search for anyone that can work for you okay make it bigger and you can send this to the back but this is even cool this is even another cool thing we can do you understand but uh this is not what I even use initially. Okay, so because it's too much, I can reduce the transparency of it. Okay, or you can just take your time and search for a subtle one, as some people will say. Let's see how. Okay, I think I like this one. So I remove what's in the background and I rather use this. Okay, yeah, something um, simple. Okay, so you can use this. So. Now that we have done this, I'm now going to show you how I made everything into a video. Okay, so this is the thing. It's just very simple. You just have to make sure that you have um, it looking step by step. So maybe in the first slide, it's just the background. The second slide is adding maybe the black. Third slide, adding the black Friday. Fourth slide, having the next element and it builds up like that. So that's what we are going to do right now. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is, this is going to be the final design, okay? So, this design is the one that's going to look like this came before this. So, I took the confetti out. I duplicate it again. Come to the one on top. I took this out, okay? Because this is what we did before we added. Uh -huh, you get it? Then, I duplicate. I come here. I take the super black Friday out. Duplicate. Go to the top. I took this one out. Oh, I'll take it out, not I took. Okay, then this out so you can see what I'm trying to do. So you can see this is how everything is going to look like. If I click on the grid view, you can see this is you know what we are going to have. You understand so it's just the entire process then to make this a video what I did was I downloaded all the photos and moved it into Premiere Pro but since you are all Canva designers and some of you might not have Premiere Pro I'm going to do everything here in Canva so we can simply do this let me just switch okay so we can simply do this you can come to audio and in audio you can find any interesting music you understand so in this case, you can see our audio is loading. So you can just search for any interesting uh, music. And I think here my desktop audio is on. So if I play any music, you hear it. So this is, yeah. So you can see this is the audio we are having. I think it's louder than my voice. Okay. Okay, so we are going to search for another one. 
Okay. Okay, so you can see how everything is looking. <laughs> okay, so in this case, what you simply have to do is you just have to find a very cool audio and add it to your design. So, okay, so you get the whole idea. So then we can just add it to our design and it's now, um, how do you call it, a video because you have the play button over here. So if you play, this is how it's going to look like. Now you get the whole concept, but you can see in this case, it's delaying. So what we have to do now is we have to click on each, um, how do you call it, each slide you have over here. The duration is five seconds. So you can just simply reduce it to 2.0 seconds, okay, which means it's two seconds. You understand? So you actually have to do this for all, and that's the thing in canvas so maybe i'll just speed up the process and um have you see how everything's going to look like okay so so you can see i have been able to reduce the duration for all these slides so now you can see that um every you know playback it would move a bit faster and even you can see the duration over here has also reduced initially it was one minute but it's now reduced to 24 seconds which means that it's now going to be faster so if you had to play this is what you would have two seconds is still you know um it's still it's still long so it means that in this case i have to reduce everything again to one second which will be faster if one second is also going to be slow, you have to reduce it to maybe 0 0.9 or 0 0.8, which would make it faster. So that's the entire thing you have to do. And I just don't want this video to take so much time. So this is what I'm going to leave you with. I want to see what you do. You can share it with me. And then um, don't forget that if you want to move to Canva Pro and, um, you know, at a very cool price, there's a link, a special link I have in the description box below you can get it if you want more canva tutorials like this make sure make sure to hit on the subscribe button hit on the bell icon also and if you like this video you can also like it as well the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video